Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jeremy with Kentucky Wash Pros. Uh, we're going to be working on a downstream injector box today to uh, cut our soap on and off with the remote, save time from walking back and forth. That way we can rinse and wash off at the same time. Uh, that'll save time. Anyways, there's a guy that's got a video out there that I'm pretty much doing the same thing that he showed. Uh, I don't know his name, but uh, his YouTube channel is All Pro Exterior Services. He's out of Louisiana. So some good content, some good videos. Anyways, it's pretty much the same exact thing as he's got. Uh, I want to show uh, show that process and how to do that. So uh, I'll turn it around and show you what we got here. Uh, we just picked up a six by six by four. I think that's what it was, a six by six by four um, junction box with the cover. And I just took that off. We picked up this uh, U.S. solid quarter inch ball valve off Amazon, 30 some bucks, and a couple uh, stainless steel quarter inch fittings. Right now, I know I don't have it taped up or anything. This is just a dry fit mock. So, uh, what I did is just set this down in here and put this plate to this plate, keep it tight, and just. Uh, Take a marker and uh, mark around that on both sides, and then I'll run a, a small drill bit through this way, and then come back through with my paddle bit to uh, get me to a quarter inch. That way, my line goes through. Got the uh, remote set up right here. It's going to be going right down in here. Uh, I'm going to have Velcro holding that. We got the Velcro right there. I opted it with these uh, remotes. And this, uh, I just like that it had this little keychain. Uh, I thought, well, that'll hang on to my belt loop because I usually wear pants or shorts with belts. I like I like to wear a belt, and that'll go right on there. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I may end up changing it. I think it's got about 350 foot range, 328 feet. I've only got 200 foot of pressure hose, so I ain't going no farther than that, anyways. Uh, I, I have another 50, but still, I'm still well within range. I uh, may not like the remote, may change it out. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that's the only thing. I think he's got like the big remote that's kind of white square, and, and I think it's about 900 feet. So we'll give it a shot and uh, see what's going on. Anyways, all right, stay tuned. All right, guys, back with you. Got a few things set up here. As you can now see, we got the ball valve mounted with the Velcro. We've got the remote, uh, that controller there, the uh, the brains of the operation. We got it mounted. <clears throat> now you see right here, that red and black wire is the red and black wire that comes off the ball valve. And you wanna hook those up to your DC output side. You know, red goes positive, black goes negative. Everybody should know that. That's how that sets up. And then I'm gonna show you where to put the uh, positive and negative out on the input side there. So with that, on your switch right here, you tie together your yellow and your red. Now your yellow and your red will go to your DC positive input side, okay? We don't use this white wire, we'll tie it off. And so we run our wires coming from our uh, battery, from our power source, drill a little hole, run those through the bottom, looped in here and tied a knot in that to keep that from pulling out. So what you'll do is you tie the black from the switch from your switch to the black to the battery power uh, black cord you run in there those two tie together those two will go on your dc input negative side 
and on your power input from your battery, you tie it into your green wire. I just tied it together, put a nut there on it, tightened it up. I may uh, run a little black tape around that as well. We'll see. But I'll show you here real quick if I can. So, I like to use a uh, negative or a uh, magnetic screwdriver when doing this just because it seems like it makes everything a little bit easier to uh, work with. the tripod over there but you can see I got it down in there it's tightening up you don't have to over tighten anything and then we're gonna put the black power or black uh, from the power source the battery and from the switch into that negative and hook it up and screw it up so my tripod's not really, it's about on its last leg. No pun intended. But as soon as I get it hooked up, we'll get back with you, show you the end result. All right, guys, I just got done hooking this up. I'll show you what I got going on here real quick. Uh, I did have my downstream injector over at my pump. On the back side of that snot my nose, you can't really see it. But I decided to move it over here Got a little worry if this was gonna be in the way, but I just spun it around, so now it's out of the way. Now it's up here closer to my reel. But I mounted it on the inside, right there. Wires ran over to my battery. I got my line from my downstream over here, uh, but that's my chem tank for my 12 volt. I know it's a lot of tanks right now, but I'm gonna get me some three-way valves and try to plumb everything in together and get rid of that tank and just make it a uh, switch back and forth and run everything through my proportioner downstream and 12 volt kind of like uh joe deary does there on the uh, powerful improvements uh, i got that idea he showed a little bit of his plumbing in a video here recently so that's where the, what we're working on but this is the rig the box is super easy to get to she's on she works i tested it should have got some video, but the neighbors had their yard mode and it was loud, so. But everything's together. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments, uh, reach out. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Kentucky Wash Pros. I'm in some of the groups, Power Wash Bros, uh, Power Washing One on One, Pressure Washing One on One, uh, Pressure Washing Friends. But uh, if you got any questions, just let me know. I appreciate y'all checking the video out and peace and have a good day.